What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create different sliders using Elementor. Now, we're gonna be creating about five different um, slide styles. This is the first one that we're gonna be creating here. And this is the second one here. And this is the third one. Now we're gonna be able to do this by using a uh, plugin that recently came out for Elementor. Um, and it actually has some pretty cool features, especially this one, because you are able to do a slider to scroll, which I thought was pretty cool. So um, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe. It definitely helps out a lot when you guys like the video so then more people can find this video and YouTube can overall suggest it. Now, if you guys want to learn how to create this slider, go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin called Prime Slider. So head over to your dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new, and then just go ahead and type in prime slider. And go ahead and install the first one here that's called prime slider. And then click activate. I'm just gonna click skip. And we're gonna be now we're just gonna go to the page that we want to add our slider to. So I'm gonna go to my pages and I'm gonna add my slider to my home page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit with Elementor on my home page. Right at the top here, go ahead and just create a new section or wherever you're gonna add your slider, and just make sure you add a section and make it one column. And then go ahead and click on your section here, and then make sure that it's full width and you have no gap. Now go to your elements and go ahead and type in slider. Now we have a few to choose from here. We do have some blog sliders, but I do have a video going over those already. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip these two right here. And then I'm just gonna go over the other ones. So I'm gonna go over the first one, which is called dragon. Um, now you can't completely customize it just like how we use Elementor. Um, we just have to go through their their options here so let me go ahead and just show you guys how this looks let me click update and then view it on the website here now it's actually looking pretty nice of course it doesn't go with my website but that's fine um so first thing i'm gonna do is maybe adjust my height here because i think it's way too long let's see if i could do that here now this plugin does have i had a feeling that i might have that issue with this one here with the minimum height. So right now there's a currently a bug where you can't um, adjust the minimum height, at least on this slider. On some of the other element sliders, you can adjust the height, but for this one, I guess there's a bug right now. So that's fine. Um, so, so we do have some options here to remove some of these things on here. So we wanna be able to show our title, of course. We wanna show our subtitle, which is the one above it, I believe. And then uh, we want to show our button, which is this button here that says details. It's actually a pretty unique button, kind of like how that looks. But we could, we can also remove that as well. We can show our excerpt, which is just our um, description there. We can remove our uh, social links as well here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to leave those on there. Uh, I'm going to leave. Uh, we can also remove these dots here that we have. But I think they're pretty nice, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave them there. And then we have our slides. Um, and right here, we can go ahead and add our own our own uh, background image. Of course, I mean, you know, I mean, most of these images by default won't go with your website. So you'll have to add your own custom images. Um, what you can do instead, if you can't create any custom images, and um, I would just remove the images and just make the background um, black. And I'll show you guys how to do that here. So we can go up here. And you will we'll have to do that in uh, in in the in the style settings here let me go up here and click click and click okay so we can go ahead and adjust our uh, title here if we wanted to so i know that the the subtitle says um add-ons for elementor um we can't currently see it right now um but let me just go ahead and go to my style here and add a background just so that we can see it because i feel like that's a little bit annoying there um so let's go to background and let's just do a black background here. Just so then we can't see that. There we go. And let's go back to our sliders. Now I'll go over that in a bit here. So here's our first slider. Now, um, 
we can go ahead and change that title if that's something that we wanted to do. As you can tell, now we remove the subtitle here. We can adjust our title if we wanted to add our um, some more text or title or just remove our title altogether and add a new one. You can even add a link for your um, for your title. Um, you can adjust the button as well. So you can maybe do a book call or something, whatever that may be. I'm just giving you guys an example there. And then we can have a button link. You can link that out to pretty much any page or anything like that. And then here we just have our um, our description. And basically the same goes for the, the rest of the slides. It's the same options. You can, like I said, you can just add your own image or you can just remove it altogether. Um, that's completely optional up to you. I'm going to leave it as is. Might even, let's see if I still have those images in my, nope, I don't. Um, so I'm just going to leave that one as is. I'm going to probably move this one to the back here just so then we have that first nice slide there in the front. Okay. And then we have our social um, share links at the bottom here. If you can also add more, if that's something that you wanted to do, you can choose the text, the title of your uh, social link and then add a link to that. I'm going to leave these as is for now. I think that's fine. And then we can also adjust the animation so we can have an autoplay and then we can do an um, autoplay uh, interval and we can just change how fast we want um, the slide the slide to go. Let's say we want it delayed for like, you know, 7,000 milliseconds this is what we can do here. We can do 8,000 milliseconds or whatever that may be that you may want. Maybe this is too, too fast or too slow. You can just go ahead and adjust this. Um, and then we can pause on hover, which I think is I think which I'm gonna actually turn on because it's pretty helpful whenever we're working on one of the slides here. So whenever someone hovers over this, it won't move, um, which is a good feature there to have. And then we can go ahead and go over here um, to our um, our style. So this is where we're gonna stylize our um, our slide here. Now from uh, from the title here, this is where we would add style to our title. Now we can adjust the width. Now what this is going to do is move is move it over to the to the right here, or sorry, to the left. Um, and that's how you can adjust that. I'm going to leave it at full width. I think that's fine. Or you can just leave it to default, which is a full width. You can adjust the color of this text as well. Maybe you want to do red or something else, um, whatever that may be. I know that for my website, maybe since it's black, I would maybe do do uh, this color, um, but. That's just completely up to you. I might actually just leave it like that. I think that looks pretty nice. And it does make it the same color for um, the rest of the titles, which is a little bit of a bummer. I wish um, you could have your own uh, color for each each slide, but that's fine. That works anyway. Um, and then you can also adjust the typography here. We can change the font. We can uh, change the size of our, of our title here. So but I think default is fine. And you know, you, I mean, if you used um, Elementor, you know how the typography works. I'm not gonna go over that too much. We can add some title spacing as well. We can basically space it out from the bottom, but I'm gonna leave this to default. And we can adjust our uh, social links as well down here. We can adjust the color of our text, if that's something that we wanted to do. Um, we can have a circular color as well. You can add some spacing to that. I'm gonna leave that at default. And then the typography, which I'm sure you know how that works if you've been using Elementor. And then here we have our navigation. Now our navigation is basically this area here. We have our uh, our numbers. Um, if we did have maybe a, some arrows, we would adjust our navigation on here as well. So we can adjust that as well. We can change those around to whatever color we want. I'm going to leave those at white just because I feel like that looks the best. But we can have a hover if that's something that we wanted to do as well. But I'm gonna leave that to the fall, and then we can have an we can have an active color. Let's say we wanted to do wanted to make it this color here. And I feel like that's a lot better, so then we know that it, that one's the one that's active, even though we have this like line here. But I feel like that looks a lot cooler. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And then we have our sizing. I'm gonna leave the sizing as is. And I'm gonna go back to um, my sliders here because I didn't go over the subtitle. It's pretty much. The same, um, the same options that we did with the title here. You can adjust that. Uh, you can adjust your um, your typography for your description here. And the part that I actually did want to show you guys is a button here. So we can adjust our button. And uh, I'm going to go over, let's see here. So we can do our icon color. We want to probably choose the color that we've been using around for our website. We could adjust the text color. I'm going to leave that at white circular that you see here. 
I'm gonna leave it the same. I'm gonna leave it the same color. I think Y is fine. And the hover, we can add a hover effect if we wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, I think these options are pretty simple here. So I'm gonna go to click update and let's see how that looks. There we go. Now this is looking a lot better and a lot more clean. I mean, those pictures were uh, were actually pretty nice, so they're not really that bad. So I'm gonna leave this as is for now. So now we're gonna go ahead and just mobile optimize this. So go to your tablet version. And let's see how this looks. This looks fine. But of course, it's it's literally the same exact way that we uh, that we were doing earlier to adjust our style. So we can go ahead and and as you can tell, this is already set to tablet. So we can go ahead and adjust our um, typography, maybe make the text smaller if we need to. So then it fits properly on tablet. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just leave it to how it was by default. I think that's fine. And then I'm going to go to mobile and let's go ahead and see how that looks. Now on mobile, it is a little scrunched up together, but to be honest, it all fits. Um, I might actually just remove my social, I, my, uh, my social icons, um, but that's entirely up to you. But that's probably what I would do is just remove my social icons. So, and I'm just gonna remove those because those are kind of in my way. Okay. So now that we're done with this slider, I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, remove, um, I'm gonna actually uh, remove this one here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and add one of the other ones. So there are a few, the other ones will go a little bit quicker. I just wanted to show you how to edit some of those, uh, some of those slides and how to adjust the style of those. So um, this one is a blog here, so I'm not gonna go through that one and then I'm just gonna go through the general one. Okay, now this one's pretty nice. So what I would do on this one is, uh, let me just show you guys how that looks. So this one is definitely a lot more cleaner. So let's go with, uh, I'm gonna remove the logo, remove the menu, remove the canvas, which is just their um, their hamburger icon. There, I'm gonna remove social links, um, social buttons there. I think they were over here as well. Oh, this is, uh, sorry, the drop down and the social are the ones that I wanna remove. But uh, you know what, they kinda add some style to it, so I'm gonna leave it as, uh, as well. And we have all these op other options here that we went earlier. We do have our header options. If you did want to adjust that header and have a transparent transparency header, you guys can go through these options. I'm not really going to go through those as much. And then here, same options as before, um, except I think I didn't go over this part here. So we can have a background or we can use an image instead. You can even do a nice video, which is pretty cool, which I think you guys will actually like that. And that's kind of awesome because you can have that per slide, right? You can have your own YouTube video um, per slide. I think that's pretty cool on that part. And then here are just some of the other settings that we went through earlier. Um, and then we have our style here. And this this off canvas is only for a header. These are like our header um, options here. If you, if you guys were using their header. And we have our slider options, which we went through this earlier as well. We have our social links and our navigation. So. So this is the other slider that I wanted to show you guys. And basically the rest of this video is just gonna be going over the sliders. I might adjust them a bit, but if you guys already got a good understanding of how to edit these slides, you guys can just go ahead and um, activate this, or sorry, install this uh, plugin and just start um, tinkering with it. Um, but I'm just gonna go through each one because there are some really unique ones that I do like here. And I think it is, yeah, this one's a really nice one too. And then I think we also have, let's go through, because there is one that um, that is on scroll. There's a slider on scroll, which is this one here, the multi-scroll. Um, let me show you guys how that one works. So this one's pretty cool. I know that there's a few websites that are like this. You've probably seen this before, right? So whenever someone scrolls, it automatically slides down. Um, but it does get stuck, so it's like, Basically, you have to add all of your sections in here, which is kind of weird how that would work. Um, and some of these options are, are a little bit, um, they're a little bit similar, but there some of them can be a little bit different. And um, we do have our same style or same, uh, these are 
little bit, I mean, these are pretty self-explanatory as well. Description, title, you can adjust those as well. But uh, this one is a little bit, little bit, um, I feel like there's some um, glitches on this one because we can't really scroll down from here. Um, I think the best one, so then you can have a, um, let me a multi-scroll there. Let me go to the slider there. I think it would be the next one over. This one here. So I think this one's a nice one. I actually did. I actually really like this one. So this one you can just um you can definitely slide a little bit and then it also scrolls down. Um, this one you are able to adjust the height of this one. So I know that I was going that earlier where you weren't able to adjust the height. So on this one we can. Like I was telling you earlier, this um, those other slides were kind of buggy, but I'm sure they're going to fix those issues. Hopefully, by the time you watch this video, it'll be fixed. But I did want to show you that because I thought that was pretty cool. Then you can go through your slides. You can add a video and all that sort of stuff that you may want to add here. Um, I'm going to go to remove this one here. And then I'm going to go ahead. And go through probably this one here. This will be the last one I go through here. Um, I will have a video on the WooCommerce one. I might. Um, it's not really the best right now. I think they need to fix a few things before I even make that video. Because that one definitely is a little bit glitchy. Um, but this one's a pretty nice one as well. It's very clean. And this one you have these little arrows right here. Some of them might have different skins, but uh, for this one doesn't. But you can just go ahead and adjust these. I feel like you'll definitely be able to find a slider that goes to your website, and you can customize it however you would like. But this one is a pretty nice one as well. But I will, let me just, um, yeah, so the, the WooCommerce one here, let me just go show you guys that one. I don't have any products, so I probably won't have anything pop up, but. Yeah, so nothing nothing pops up anyway, but I did test it out and it just it wasn't the best But you guys can try it out. Maybe have it work out for your website, but you will notice that there are a few bugs in that one um, That's pretty much it for this video I did want to show you guys those slides just because I feel like they'll definitely help you out whenever you're creating a slide um, I know that these slides tend to be pretty popular so I'm hoping you guys do like them. If you guys do have any questions on them, just feel free to comment down below and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe. It definitely helps out the channel out a lot, especially when you like the video because it um, is the YouTube will end up suggesting it to more people. And therefore, uh, we can definitely grow this channel and, um, and everyone can learn more about building websites. So uh, that's basically it for this video. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.